Shalom, and welcome to Mondays with Marcy, when I have the opportunity to share with you all the wonderful programming that is coming up this coming week, coming from online, from the adult department, from the CATS JCC. Many of you are taking advantage of our regular weekly programming, which is chair exercise on Monday and Wednesday mornings, on Tuesday mornings, chair yoga, and on Wednesday, on Monday afternoons, meditation. But in addition to our regular programming, we also have some wonderful programming that we insert every week. So you can still sign up for the remaining three classes in the lifelong learning class, four hot political topics, which couldn't be more relevant than it is today with so much going on. And that's on Tuesdays at one o'clock. You can view the Cherry Hill Volvo Cars Jewish Film Festival, feature film Picture of His Life and Master Maggie beginning Tuesday at seven o'clock. And also, if you register today, you will be able to see the movie Latter Day Jew, which will be discussed at seven o'clock tomorrow. A remarkable story about a young man who was a Mormon, a cancer survivor, also gay, who decides to convert to Judaism and wants at the age of 34 to have a bar mitzvah. On Wednesday, Irene Effek, our wonderful librarian, is going to lead her popular book club with Anna Solomon, who's author of the Book of V. Then that same day, take a little break because one of our favorite authors is coming online to us in cooperation with other arts, books, and culture festivals throughout the country. We will be in conversation with Daniel Silva and his wife, Jamie Gangel, on Wednesday at eight o'clock. The cost is $36 and it includes the book. Then on Thursday, you can explore musical theater with the Rhodes Scholar Program at 11 o'clock. And then you can take a break and then join us again at seven o'clock for a film discussion of the short Master Maggie. And the, one of the creators happens to be Barbara Schwartz's and the late Rudy Schwartz's grandson. And we would love you all to be there to support her and wish her mazel tov on this wonderful creation of her grand, that her grandson has put together. On Friday, you can tour Philadelphia's National Museum of American Jewish History. And at 1.30, representatives from the Securities Exchange Commission are going to be on a Zoom call with us. And their very pertinent topics will be the increase of fraudulent activities that are targeting older adults during the coronavirus, as well as how does one plan when your capacity diminishes? So please tune in. And as always, you can find all of these programs at catsjcc.org. Go to the homepage, then click on adults, and then down you scroll down and then you'll see all the programs. Specifically, if you're interested in the film festival, you can still do it on that page, but you can also go to the catsjcc.org slash film, and that'll take you directly into registering for those films. The JCC is slowly in accordance with the CDC and the, and the Department of Health, opening up some programming outdoors. So if you don't know already, the outdoor pool is opened with reservations and all kinds of guidelines. There have been any number of fitness and wellness classes also happening outside under a tent with porta potties, etc. also following protocol. And then there is some limited camp experiences at the camps at Medford, also with reservations, also following all the guidelines. We will keep you up to date, myself and others in the JCC, as we begin to navigate and phase in slowly those programs that are acceptable uh, by the CDC and the Department of Health and follow all of those guidelines. So, as always, we are only a phone call away or an email away. We are here for you, always trying to be connected in any way we can, we're still working, we're still operating just a little differently. So please stay safe, stay healthy, so we can see you back at the J. Enjoy this week. Let me know what you attend, what you thought of it, 
and I'll see you again next week with Mondays with Marcy. Thank you. Bye-bye.